Yeah. 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 Some other stuff. He worked on some other stuff. Right. <laughs> but he was very nice to come back to us. Oh, my, okay. This thing. I absolutely love G.I. Joe. Like, you guys, I can't even tell you how much I do. So, literally, they said, do you want to do more Spider-Man? I said, well, I have some G.I. Joe to do. <laughs> All right? Um, that's how much I really, really want to do this. Okay, guys? So, just so you have, so that's on the record. So, what's it been like uh, coming into the Transformers universe here? Uh, well, it's uh, coming up uh, top ten at uh, Wildstorm, and it's, it's a, bit, a bit different than writing a, a police uh, procedural with superheroes, but not really that different. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been, I mean, it's been fantastic. It's, and I, I like to echo what Mike was saying, and, uh, you know, Pembro has been very sort of uh, easygoing about, the, about things, except uh, having tra uh, characters be in the same, you know, in two different things at the same time. Can I use this guy? No, he's in space. Can I use this guy? He's in space. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who's the major villain in Bumblebee? It'll be Skywalk, the, uh, the giant jet who is, uh, is a pretty, has been a pretty minor character, but he's actually fairly scary. Portal. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> you want to talk about Cobra 2 a little bit? Yeah. All right. Cobra 2, Chuckles is in jail. No, we're not giving away where Chuckles is, but uh, if you read the end of the first Cobra, uh, Cobra May series, Chuckles is pretty much on a quest to dest utterly destroy Cobra, and he's, we saw him go from a, a wisecracking kind of devil may care type of guy at the beginning to a obsessed, you know, highly focused uh, guy with nothing to lose at the end, uh, so that's kind of where we're picking up. Um, yeah, and I want to say that uh, the reaction to Cobra has been really awesome from all you guys, or at least all you guys that read it. So I wanted to thank the, the readers for how much they embraced what we did, which was, I think, kind of risky and different. And uh, there was one complaint, though, that I saw a lot on the uh, message boards, which was that a lot of people felt that it was called Cobra, but it wasn't really showing a whole lot of Cobra. And I can tell you that if, if that's your complaint, you will really like Cobra too, because you will see a lot more of Cobra. Yeah. Really? Because yeah. the complaint I saw was that he was murdering too many women. Well, that's <laughs> all. I can't make any promises on that. But you will see a lot more. And uh, uh, as I've said before, uh, the two of us, Mike's the guy who knows GI Joe inside and out. I didn't know anything about, well, not anything, but I didn't know much about GI Joe. And since then, like. Um, People have given, like, I was at a, a convention where a guy puts out, like, a, a visual guide to all the G.I. Joe toys, gave me one. So I was going through saying, I want to use that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy. So, you know, there will be random Cobra guys propping up simply because I like the way they look in their games. Yeah, I'm getting phone calls from Chris where he's like, have you heard of this character? And then he drops some ridiculously obscure guy. I'm like, I don't know who that is. And he goes, all right, well, I got this scene in mind. <laughs> so there's, there's going to be a lot of Cobra guys. Any more questions from you guys? I can do this all day. Thank you. <laughs> Any more questions at all? How much time do we have? Lots. Wow, we got lots of time and you don't have any questions? Can all you right. dance for us? I cannot dance. <laughs> yeah, right now. Give me a box. <laughs> you, sir. Uh, technical side, uh, you ever uh, put out a script for the uh, story for anything just that itself? And then also for the artist, you really do. Uh, Robert, you want to handle the art question? Yeah, sure, just real quick. Um, yeah, I get the scripts, just email to me, um, and then I read through the script, break it down, like sketches on the script, and then uh, I'll either work out a thumbnail, you know, maybe three by four inches or something like that, just a small layout drawing, get the storytelling down, and then I blow it up. It's all uh, mostly traditional still, where I'll, you know, I pencil the page out, I pencil on 11 by 17. Uh, artboard, and then uh, either I will ink it if it's a cover, or we send it to an inker, Clayton Brown, if he's on the title we're working on. And uh, he inks over the pencils that I work on. That gets scanned in as a digital image, and then uh, then it gets colored, typically using Photoshop, Paint, or other you know, digital programs to, to color it. And then that gets sent again as a digital, digital image back to IDW, who goes to pre-press at that point. And usually at that point, it's all in the needs to redraw the page. <laughs> Uh, from a writing standpoint, do you guys ever in scripts? We don't own the script, you guys do, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, not really in a position to. Uh, there is a website, actually, if you're interested in comic scripts. Uh, I believe it's called comicbookscripts.com. 
where you can download a, a lot of them for free. It's Comic Script Archive. Is it Comic Book Script Archive? It's my, my friend Tim Simmons actually has that. So oh. Comic Book Script Archive. But you can get a, you can get a bunch of the comic scripts. Another another resource too. If you go, if you, this okay. This didn't start out as a shameless plug, but if you go to robertatkinsart.com, like seriously, I didn't mean to be a plug. But if you go to robertatkinsart.com, I actually do a weekly podcast where we talk a lot about the ins and outs of the comic industry, how comics are made, what goes into the writing, the art, just all of these technical questions. So there's a link off of the front page of my site to the podcast, and if you go directly there, it's a weekly show we put out. Um, when I when I turn in the scripts, I, I do it a little bit differently. I, I like to turn in uh, layouts, uh, just just because that's sort of the way that I can generally write. I turn in a script in addition, um, and uh, and I, I don't I don't know I don't imagine there are any plans to show these these layouts, but they're not really much.